Alright, <clears throat> welcome to part two of how many tabs are open on Mr. Johnson's computer, 2468. I got some work done. Well, that, that last video was uploading, so I think I have less tabs, I think. Um, Alright, so we're taking a look at a graph and we're taking a look at a table. This is a table. Um, this is a graph. The graph looks like graph paper. A table looks like the tables you've been using for your whole school career. All right, so remember um, X is your input. Um, I'll even, just to make things a little bit easier, I'm just going to put some cheat, uh, cheat phrases in here. X equals input and run. And I know that that needs to get stretched out. Okay, so X equals input, that's where we run. All right, and then I'm going to put over here, let me do it in a different color so it's not confusing. Um, let's do y equals a put, and that's a jump. All right. So what we do on the x-axis is we run on our x-axis. We jump on our y-axis. All right. The x is the number that we're changing. The y is the number that it's changed into. All right. So. Um, all we're doing here, since like all they're saying here is click and drag the points to their correct location on the coordinate plane, it's not asking us to find a rule for this. In fact, I'm not even sure there is a rule for this because they flip-flopped X and Y's in um, like their first two um, their first two data points. Their first data point is one X Y four, so one four. The next coordinate is four one X four Y one. The next coordinate is 2 and 5 tenths, 2, which is x 2 and 5 tenths, y 2. And then finally, um, the last one is 2 and 2 and 5 tenths, x is 2, and y is 2 and 5 tenths. Remember, once again, you are running on your x-axis. And if I'm going to make this easier for you all, let me go ahead and label. This is my x-axis. You do not need to label this, but if you did, it would not hurt your life because of the fact that... Um, you're building connections in your brain when you label stuff. So, that works. All right, so here's our x-axis, our y-axis, and for the sake of building connections, let's go ahead and put that that's the origin, and remember, the origin is point zero. Whoa, zero. All right, so we have just labeled all the points of our graph, so that should make this even easier. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is with our yellow dot, with our yellow dot, we need to run one space, and we need to jump four spaces. All right, another thing that's going on right now is our graph isn't labeled, so um, let's go ahead and talk about this should be one, this should be two, this should be three, this should be four, this should be five, this should be six. I'm not going to skip count by anything because all of our numbers are smaller than six. So everything should fit on this graph if we have a scale of one, two, three, four, five. All right, so all these points should fit. Um, all of our y's are smaller than five. All of our x's are smaller than six. So we can use a scale of one where each line skip counts by one. If we skip counted by two, that'd be a scale of two. So two, four, six. If we skip counted by three, that'd be a scale of three, three, six, nine. But obviously, if we just skip count by ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, all of our X numbers are smaller than six. So it should work out and our graph should look pretty good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna run one. Whoop. Let's just take our little yellow dot and we'll go, we'll run one. So there's one space run. And then we'll take the elevator up to two, three, four. We jumped four spaces. Boom. We are on the spot. It's not perfect, but that's okay. Um, that's the spot. One, X1, Y4. We ran one. We jumped to the fourth line. And there we are. The yellow dot goes on one, four. So remember, you run before you jump. So the X number is how many you run. And then the Y number is how many you jump. If you get it flip-flopped, your graph will be completely backwards. All right, so let's take a look at the green dot. The green dot, it says we're going to run four spots. So let me get on my origin, my starting place, and go one. Whoa, go one and then click the wrong button. One, two, three, four. We ran four spots. And then how many are we going to jump on our y-axis? If you said one, you are absolutely correct. So there we go. We put the green um, coordinate four, one on our graph. We ran four. We jumped one. 
All right, why don't you go ahead and try the next two on your own, pause the video, try them on your own, come back and check your work. All right, welcome back. Um, so on this one, we run two and a half. So one, two, and we're not going to run all the way to three. We're going to get somewhere in the middle right there. So that's two and a half, and then we're going to jump two spaces on our Y. So our red point is halfway between two and three because it's at two and a half. So we ran one, two and a half spaces, and we jumped two spaces, and there's our point. All right, and then finally, we have the point run two, jump two and a half. All right, um, so what we're going to do is we are going to run one, two on our X, and we are going to jump one, two and a half on our Y. And there we go. So we ran two, we jumped one, two and a half on our Y. So our blue point is on the coordinates two and two and a half. So we ran two and we jumped two and a half. So there we go. We have our yellow dot on one, four. We have our green dot on four, one. We have our red dot on two and a half, two. And we have our blue dot on two, two and a half. So we did that. Now let's try that backwards. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out where do these dots live. All right. We're going to find out the coordinates. Remember, x is your run number. All right. I'm going to put that in there one more time just for the sake of having everything easy to see. Y is your jump number. So that's going to be your up and down Y axis number. So let's go ahead and let's figure out first what's our yellow dot. Where is our yellow dot? Here's yellow dot. Hello, yellow dot. How are you? Yellow dot says, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? And I said, yellow dot, you don't speak. You're a dot. And the dot said, single tier. All right. So we run one space. So I'm going to say my X is one. And then after we ran one space, it looks like we jumped one. We didn't quite jump two. So it looks like we jumped halfway between one and two. Halfway between one and two is one and a half or one and five tenths. Remember, five tenths is half. All right. Five tenths is half. Just like 50 cents is half of a dollar. Right. All right. Let's look for the home for the green dot. Whoa. My computer's going to freak out. Maybe green dot's got something to say. Hey, green dot. How are you? Green dot says, mind your own business. OK, um, we're going to leave green dot alone and we're just going to find its coordinates and leave it alone. It's a bad move. All right. So how many are we running? I am running. I didn't, I didn't run at all. Green dot is not into running. Green dot is anti running. All right. Green dot likes to jump. Green dot likes to jump a lot. Where did green dot jump to? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five. So green dot ran zero. Green dot is not into running. Green dot did not move past our origin on our x-axis. But green dot did jump to the sky. One, two, three, four, five spots. So our y is five for green dot. OK. So next dot is red dot. Let's see what's up with red dot. Red dot, how are you? Red dot says, life's fine. It's almost spring break. It's cool. Red dot seems chill. Um, red dot, where are you? Red dot says, I like to run. I hate jumping. I'm scared of heights. Red dot is super scared of heights. So let's find out how many spaces did red dot run? Red dot ran one, two, three, four, five spaces on our x axis, right? Remember, um, if we wanted to label our axes, axes is the plural of axis. There's our x-axis. And then once again, here is our y-axis. Um, and then once again, don't forget your wonderful, wonderful beginning of everything, your origin. 0, comma, 0, where you start running and jumping from. The surprised owl face. OK, next. Red did not like to jump. Red stayed right there and did not move up on the y-axis at all. It did not go up at all. So red is afraid of heights, and red was a jump, I mean, a run 5. We ran 5 spaces on our x-axis, and then we jumped 0 spaces. We stayed right there on the ground. All right, last dot is blue dot. Where's blue dot? Hello, blue dot. How are you, blue? And blue dot says nothing. That's rude. You don't have a you don't have a response, blue dot. 
Blue Dot said something that was inappropriate, so we're just going to move on. We'll find Blue Dot and then leave him alone. Um, all right, so Blue Dot. Blue Dot, how far did you run Blue Dot? One space on our x-axis, two spaces on our x-axis, three spaces on our x-axis. Blue Dot ran three spaces. All right, how many spaces did Blue Dot jump? One space, two spaces, three spaces. So Blue Dot is sitting at three on our x-axis and three on our y-axis. It's just smack dab in the middle, right? So we ran three, one, two, three. We jumped three, one, two, three. So blue dot lives at three, three, and we can leave blue dot alone. Sorry, friend. Okay, so first page, we placed the dots. In the second page, we found the dots' homes or their coordinates. Um, and remember, all coordinates are x comma y. All right, your x is your first. That's where you run. Your y is your second number. That's where you jump on your y axis. All right, so that should be it um, for today's math. Uh, if you have any questions, please let your teachers know. We are here for you. Um, we will move forward with this concept after spring break. You do have a quiz on this tomorrow. So um, if you have any questions, get them, get them asked today because, uh, yeah, and that way you can feel confident going into your quiz tomorrow, and then you can feel good about going into spring break with your first week of the fourth nine weeks in the bag. So anyway, um, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day. Um, like and subscribe if you feel like it, and I will see y'all later. Have a great day. Bye.